back here in the east, increasing safety for all students and staff. That is the goal for Terrell County. They're putting safety measures in place based on measures Sandy Hook adopted after the shooting there in 2012. Now your side's Caitlin Richards is joining us now in studio. And Caitlin, you spoke with the superintendent of Terrell County about what steps they're taking to keep staff and students safe. That's right, Courtney. Terrell County School District is adopting a safety protocol called I Love You Guys, a training covering actions of the standard response protocol, hold, secure, lock down, evacuate, and shelter. While school is out of session, <laughs> safety is increasing. Terrell County, a population of around 3,000 with three schools in the district now taking part in a national safety training. I knew that we would have to depend on other agencies if there was a real emergency within our community and also understand how to navigate in a rural setting versus what you would do in an urban school district with multiple resources. Terrell County Schools and Superintendent Dr. Karen Roseboro hosted the K-12 Standard Response Protocol. Dr. Roseboro says safety measures in the past had manuals up to 50 pages, seeming very overwhelming for employees. But now it's just five simple steps. Um, our staff members will have a card located near them or in their classroom, front desk, um, central office, custodial staff, bus drivers, and everyone will know their role when they hear those codes that come over the emergency system. But it's not just school-based language. It is also the same common language that emergency management uh, would also use in the terms of uh, critical incidents. A representative from the I Love You Guys Foundation facilitated the training. Dr. Roseboro says this is what she wants families to know. We are on high alert and, you know, there will be times we may not always get it perfect, but we want them to know that we are practicing. We are constantly communicating with each other as well as outside agencies that can help us in, emer in, in the case of an emergency and that we're going to be well prepared to respond. For more information on the new safety training and what to expect before the new school year, we have those details on our website at WNCT.com. In studio, Caitlin Richards, 9 on your side. Caitlin, thanks.